Uh... Oh yeah, uh, Last of Us Two. So I'm I, I was thinking of getting Last of Us Two, but the thing about it, and here's the thing. Here here's my main thing. I really the the leaks don't really bother me. Like the story is a story. I know the game is gonna be cinematic, kind of like all the uh, Uncharted games were, and The Last of Us One was. My big thing is. I don't know if I would be able to play through a game that that brutal. And what I mean is um, there's a lot of killing in the game and the killing in the game seems very lifelike. Like just from the from the trailers that I've seen and playing the first one, it seems real. It seems almost too real to play and it seems very taxing if you play through it. Um, a good example is the first Wolfenstein. I had the first Wolfenstein on PC and it took me like three months to play it because every time I played a large chunk of that game, it like mentally exhausted me. For one, the gameplay, because I played on hard mode, so dying a lot. And then also the story. It's very graphic, gritty and real. And it kind of, there's a couple of parts in the story that's kind of like, ugh, like it makes you cringe a little bit. But just playing that game was mentally taxing. Like I have Wolfenstein 2 on my PC, but I don't even know if I want to play it because I don't, I just remember playing the game and how like mentally exhausted I felt playing the game after playing for like two or three hours. And I feel like I would have the same thing with Last of Us 2 with the story and the gameplay and like everything you got to do in the game. So that's why I'm on the fence. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to wait till the day it comes out and see if I want to buy it or not. Um, if not, then I'll probably just like watch it on YouTube. Makes sense. Yeah. And, and that's just kind of what I got to come to realization is like, even though I have the money to buy the game, am I really going to play through this? Like, is this something I, I want to sit here and play 15, 20 hours, however long the story is and actually want to play through, or do I just want to like watch it on YouTube? Now, Ghost of Tsushima, that's a game I'm definitely buying. That's a game that I'm actually taking off on July 17th when it comes out, yo, Sonic, they put out a Paper Mario, a new a new trailer for a Paper Mario game, which is also coming out on July 17th. So July 17th, um, we'll be, you know, I'll be streaming Ghost of Tsushima and Paper Mario because Paper Mario is one of my, Paper Mario is like one of my low key favorite game, favorite gaming franchises. Um, Cause one, it's turn-based combat and two, it's very colorful. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to play the one that came, ooh, little underhand picture, that's new. I didn't get a chance to play the one that came out on Wii or Wii U, the Color Splash one, but I did play the first two, the one on N64 and then the Thousand Year Door on GameCube. And those are like two of my favorite games on those systems. Oh my God, that's so, that pitching animation. You didn't watch the gameplay yet? When you get a chance, look at it, it looks beautiful. It's, you, you know what they're kind of doing? It's like they're kind of mixing. Uh, it's like they're kind of mixing the Paper Mario aesthetic along with like the the Yoshi's Woolly World and the 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 Kirby Kirby Dream Yarn. It's like they're kind of melding bits of those two games into the Paper Mario aesthetic, and it looks amazing. 